Hey golf people, I've got a huge change in my bag today. I've taken out one of the clubs that I've had forever in terms of the makeup of my bag. Yeah, I took the three wood out of my bag. I'm replacing it with this Rogue ST Max five wood. I'm hoping this gives me a little bit more launch, same or just slightly less distance, but hopefully not super penalizing in terms of distance and gives me a little bit more confidence when I'm on a par five trying to lay up or maybe even go for it in two. Right now with my three wood, I have no confidence. I've been topping them, I've been hooking them. It's been ugly out there. So I switched to a five wood. Should you switch to a five wood too? Should you take the three wood on your bag? I've been playing with the three wood my whole life. I don't think I've ever not had a three wood in my bag until now. So it's a big test for me. We'll see if it could be a good move for you. We're gonna explore that today. So this hole here represents the perfect reason why you sometimes wanna hit less than driver off the tee and where I'm hoping this five wood will really come in handy. There is a bunker straight out, right side of the fairway, just in range, about 240 for my driver would be absolutely perfect. And I find myself in there a lot. So sometimes I wanna hit a little less than driver and I've just been struggling with the three wood. So right now I'm gonna hit two balls. I'm gonna hit the three wood first, then we're gonna pull out the five wood and actually see what the differences are. By switching to a five wood from a three wood, what am I giving up? What am I gaining? We need to find that out. Let's do it. All right, first shot here is gonna be with my G425 three wood ping. And it's not the brand that matters, but the fact that I really like this three wood. I'll walk you through what I see here with this shot. There we go, it's up in the air. It's got a nice draw, pretty high. It's penetrating. And boy, it's just in front of that sand trap. Hit that one a little off the toe too. This is a very forgiving club. Now I'm gonna take out the five wood though. We've got a ball with this little silver dot on it that will represent the five wood here. Oh boy, that got way up in the air. It's drawing a little more around that corner. Certainly a lot higher ball flight. Felt good coming off the club face. Definitely pulled a little bit. So let's find out if it made the fairway, how far it went. I've got my measuring device just to find out. Now, when I was considering changing my bag here from a three wood to a five wood, what I was really hoping was that I'd get a little higher trajectory, especially off the deck. I've been struggling getting the ball in the air off the fairway, off really tight lies with my three wood. So I'm hoping the five wood will solve that. And getting a little bit more spin, a little bit more lift. My hypothesis is that we're not gonna lose a whole lot of distance by switching from three wood to five wood either. Now, if you missed the video, you should go back and watch it, but I actually bought this club online at a brand new website called curated.com. It's a totally new buying experience for golf clubs and I really enjoyed it. I gotta say, I worked with an expert, was chatting back and forth. I was leaning the Callaway Rogue ST Max and that was his number one choice too, without me saying a thing. So I'll leave a link to that video up top here if you wanna check it out. But definitely check out curated.com. I've got a link down below in the description. Very cool service, and they've got some serious deals happening right now with the holiday sales going on. All right, we're coming up on the first shot here. This was hit with my three wood. There's a little wind behind me. We're off in the rough a little bit here. In fact, it's very sparse ground under repair a little bit, but 235, and that is our angle at the pin. So I didn't quite make the bunker. That's exactly what I wanted to do, but I was hoping to be in the fairway there. Coming up to the five wood shot here, we're just off the fairway. I just pulled it a little bit here, and we're at 199. In terms of distance, a little disappointing, I would say. Giving up 36 yards, that's more than I'm willing to do. I need to see this five wood travel about 225 to really fit with my gapping. Right now I'm hitting my driver somewhere around 250, give or take. I know everyone says that, but that's literally what it is right now. When I'm hitting the driver well, I can go 265, 270, but I'm just not swinging it as good here end of the year as I was earlier in the year. So I gotta make some adjustments there. But right now I've got a three utility. I can hit about 205 pretty consistently and maybe as far as 215. So I need something between, let's say 215 and 250, just somewhere in the middle there. I can live with 225, but I can't live with 199. So let's see if we can get a little more comfortable with this thing and see if we can get a little bit more distance out of this thing. Here's another hole where it's, this is a perfect time to take less than driver. It gets very narrow 
up there. You've got water on the right, a bunch of big cypress trees on the left, and it gets very narrow where the fairway is. That's why I'd like to take a little less than driver. Oh yeah. Again, nice trajectory. Heading a little left though. Got a little space behind me. No one's behind me right now. I got a little extra time. Just wanna see if I can straighten it out. There it is. Well, it's still bending a little left, but good distance there. There it is. Wow, that's nice and high. That is, whew. I'd say that's about as high as my seven iron, to be honest. That's what it looked like in the air. Let's see how far it went. So I'm literally showing you all the swings with this club right now and figuring it out as we go. If I could dial that last swing in, that would be absolutely perfect. That's ideal. And of course, it takes a little while getting used to a club before you feel really comfortable with it. So I am, I'm okay with that right now. But if I can get that type of trajectory, I think this is going to be a much better weapon, especially off the turf. And we're gonna try that very soon here after we hit just a few more drives with this thing and dial it in. Boy, this is absolutely dead center. Now this is my third shot. I had the wind definitely into me here. But there you go, 213. I think if I had no wind, probably easily a 220 shot. And if I had wind behind me, I'd get that 225 to 230 I'm looking for. Very happy with that one. Now let's look at the other two. These were the first two over here on the left. I just pulled them a little bit. Again, getting used to this club. Here's one right here, just off the fairway, actually barely off the fairway, about a yard. This one also at 216 though, and back just a little bit further and a little further left. But again, boy, we're four yards from the fairway. That's 200 on the button, 201 now. Now oh, 200. <laughs> Doesn't want to make up its mind. We're going to call it 201. So with the wind into me, I'll take that, honestly. That is pretty good. I think if I were to pull my three wood out, which I didn't on this hole, but I would guess we'd probably be about 225. So if I can hit it 216, 10 yards behind that, I will be very happy. And the other thing that I'll say that's nice is even though I missed the fairway, I didn't miss by much. The first one, less than a yard. The second one about four yards, pretty darn good. The bigger the club you have, like if I were to take driver there and make that same swing and it's really hooking left, that thing would have been OB all day long. Three wood, definitely a little further left, but the five wood doesn't get me into as much trouble potentially. So yeah, a club that you can control a little better, even if you lose a little distance, is that worth it to you? Well, I'd love to know down below, leave me a comment. And by the way, if you're enjoying this one so far, hit subscribe really does help the channel. But we're heading to our next hole here. Let's see what we do on this hole. We've got a big palm tree that you gotta have the distance to get around, but again, it gets very narrow. The fairway really narrows, and there is some ecological preserve that if I hit driver on this hole, I can definitely reach. So I'm often hitting, again, less than driver. Let's see how we do. We're gonna go five wood again here. Up there's the palm tree. I've really got to go straight. A little draw would be nice, but I got, I got to stay right at that palm tree or I am done. Did it get past the palm tree? It did. <laughs> I'm going to hit a three wood again here just to see what I would do with a three wood. And I topped one into the, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> That's not the club, guys. That's the guy swinging it, and this thing is in my head. And when you've got a club in your head, no matter how good it is, maybe you just need to take it out of your bag sometimes. I'll try that again. <laughs> Better, but oh boy. Uh, it's going to be in the fairway. I don't know if we got past the tree. And that thing really... I hit it off the toe and it really went out right and curved and it was like a banana. Not good. <laughs> yeah, guys, there you go. Perfect example that I am, in fact, a mere mortal. Just topped one right into the junk there. Whew, if you're a mere mortal too, go ahead and hit subscribe. This is the channel for folks who don't hit it 350 yards off the tee. They're mere mortals like you and me. If that's you, you're not subscribed, do it now. Let's see where it ended up. Here's the tree I'm talking about. 
Got to get past this tree and you can see there's a bunch of stuff over there you don't want to be in. In fact, there's some out of bounds over there as well. We're coming up on one of the balls here. We'll see which one it is. It's just past the tree. Actually, there's two balls just past the tree here. We're at 202. That is the three wood actually. And the other ball up here, the other ball up here is actually the five wood. Two eleven. So I took two cuts with the three wood. One went about 20 yards into the crap. One went just over 200 and the five wood beat out both of those. So that's what I'm talking about in terms of confidence. So far, this five wood has actually been very consistent, just a little left of target, if you haven't noticed. And uh, again, that's something that I can figure out, but at least if I know where it's going, boy, that gives me a lot more confidence, especially standing on a par five, either trying to go for it in two or try to lay up into a good position in a tight hole. I don't have that same confidence right now with a three wood, and that makes all the difference. Again, not saying that the, a three wood is a bad club, in any way, you might hit a three wood great. I used to hit a three wood great up until about three months ago. <laughs> and I might hit a three wood great again. But right now, right now in my game, I'm not hitting it well. And I seem to be hitting this five wood pretty well so far, pretty consistently at least. All right, we're gonna go five wood here. Let's see how far we can hit this thing. I'm really gonna take a swing at it. I just wanna see what I can max this thing out at. Boy, that's nice. Pretty high in the air. Took a big hop. We'll find out where that thing ended up. Let's go to the three wood here too. I'm gonna to take, again, a very big swing at this and see what happens. Oh, that's a good one on the same line. So this is gonna be really interesting where those two balls ended up. Honestly, for an apples to apples comparison, that's about as good as I'm gonna be able to give you here today. So this is gonna be very telling. I'm gonna go ahead and hit reset here on my G80. Okay, this is pretty exciting, guys, because these balls are on the exact same line. One right here, one up about 15 yards. This one is 218, that is the five wood. All right, so a little higher trajectory, a little more spin, didn't roll out quite as much. Up here is the three wood. Again, same line, exact same line and we're at 232 with the three wood. So I'm giving up about, what, 15 yards, give or take, 16 yards was it, with the five wood. But what am I gaining? I'm gaining a lot more consistency, a lot better height, stopping power on a, one of those really long 220, 225 par threes, and I really need to take a swing at something I can pull this five wood out. And I'd say I have some pretty good confidence with this club being able to stop on the green, whereas the low trajectory of the three wood could hit the green and just run towards the back. So am I willing to give up 10 to 15 yards with this five wood, but gain a little bit more consistency? Very likely, but I'm not sure yet. We have to try one more thing. All right, now guys, this is the part of my game that's really been struggling for me lately. It's hitting it off the deck in the fairway. I'm gonna hit a number of shots here with the five wood just to see if I can control this, get it up in the air a little bit better and get myself into better position on par fives, maybe even go for them from time to time. Let's see what we do. There it is, right there. Up in the air, nice draw. Yes, oh, that's nice and high. Oh, that's good. All right, that one wasn't hit as well. Still got up in the air and it's still going down there. Let's take out the G80 here and measure and see how far those went. I need to get it over 200, definitely. Something like 215, 225 obviously is ideal, but let's see what we got. No matter what, I'll tell you this, the confidence level, the fact that I can get this ball up in the air and I'm not topping it like I have been with my three wood, that is a huge win, but we do need the distance. All right, walking up on the balls here. This was the last one, I believe. It went the shortest. That went 178, 178. You can see all these balls really close to each other. These were the first two. And boy, they were both hit pretty well. We'll go to the one here on the right here for a second. And we're getting 193 
this ball over here, this ball also, well, 194, 194. It seems like the distance is leaving just a little bit to be desired here. I've got to be quite honest with you. I was really hoping to see this five wood up around, like I said, 225 would be great. I would take 220, something like that. But it seems we're a little further than I would have guessed away from that. Is it some swing changes and technique that I've got to make? Definitely that's a possibility. Is this just not the right suited club for me and I got to find a way to hit the three wood or maybe even try a four wood out? That could be two guys. Leave me a comment with your thoughts down below. I'm, I'm leaving today not 100% satisfied. I'm very satisfied in the fact that I'm getting the ball up in the air more consistently. It's uh, a nice high trajectory. We're getting some good spin. But I am disappointed in the fact that I think we're, we're behind on distance from where I'd like to see this club. More testing probably needed. We will be doing kind of a three hybrid versus five wood versus three wood versus three utility iron video here soon, so stay tuned. And guys, if you want to check out the other club that I put in my bag this year, a new club, check out this video right here. It's the Ping Eye Crossover. That completes my bag for this year, at least for now. Again, more testing needed. Stay tuned and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.